Hey guys, in today's video we will be looking at third order ODEs. So our first step is to transform this equation into its characteristic equation. And how we do that is by looking at the magnitude of the derivative. So this one's to the power of 3, to the power of 2, to the power of 1. And you can think of this one as to the power of 0. So if we transform this, it will look like lambda cubed plus 2 lambda squared minus lambda minus 2 equals to 0. Basically what we want to do now is solve for lambda. So what I'm going to do is factor this out. So for these first two terms, I'm going to bring lambda squared out. So we have lambda plus 2. Then for these two terms, I'm going to do plus negative lambda minus 2. And that will equal to 0. So now my goal is to try and make this section over here equal to this section over here so I can factor it out. How I would do that is by doing lambda squared lambda plus 2 minus so you bring the minus out this becomes lambda plus 2 and now we have a nice term over here that we can just factor out so we have lambda plus 2 times lambda squared minus 1 and that equals to 0. So now the last step to factorizing this is to transform the lambda squared minus 1 to lambda plus 1 times lambda minus 1. And this will give you your solution that lambda equals to negative 2, negative 1, and 1. So now that we've found lambda, we can find our general solution. So y of x equals to c1 e negative 2 x plus c2 e to the negative x plus c3 e to the x. So to get the general solution what you do is select three arbitrary constants because we have three values for lambda and for each lambda value you choose an e and put the constant I mean the coefficient in front of x and this will be your answer.